One of the most demoralizing things for a web developer is to pour all kinds of work into a web app only to find out that the JavaScript bundle is way too big. Tools like Webpack and Vite will warn you in bright yellow font when the JavaScript bundle size exceeds a certain threshold, like 500 kilobytes. That means your initial page load will be so slow that nobody will ever stick around to actually use your beautiful app. Yeah, listen. Uh... We fucked up. Fortunately, this problem can be mitigated with code splitting, and there are many ways to do it. I'm currently working on a project myself that uses Vite as the build tool and also uses Firebase on the front end. Firebase is notorious as a large package because it provides so much functionality. The technique I'm going to show you can be applied to any dependency or your own JavaScript modules. The idea behind code splitting is that instead of putting all your JavaScript in one single file, you break it up and load only what you need asynchronously when it becomes needed in the application. The most common way to handle code splitting is to do it at the route level. Frameworks like Next.js will do this automatically, where any JavaScript that goes to a specific route will only be loaded when that route is activated. That's helpful, but it doesn't solve every problem. If you use Firebase globally in your app, that means every single route will still be huge. The reality is that you may need Firebase on every page, but in most cases, you probably don't need it immediately. Like maybe you have a comment section at the bottom of the page that requires Firestore. You don't really need that code until the user scrolls down to the bottom. Or maybe you only need Firestore for logged in users, in which case you don't need all that JavaScript until the user signs in. Let's take a look at some code I'm working on currently that makes that dream a reality. One of the big reasons that Vite is so awesome is that it makes code splitting extremely simple. Normally you import a module at the top level of a file. However, if you want to lazy load that module, you might have a function that awaits a dynamic import for that module. Vite will create a separate file for that JavaScript and the browser will only import it when that function is called, which means it won't be there to affect the initial page load size. And you can get rid of the top level import to omit that code from your main bundle. Now let's imagine you have some JavaScript that should only be used by authenticated users. Well, with Firebase, I can listen to the user's authentication state and then only import that code if we actually have a user available. That can be huge because now every new user that visits your site doesn't have to load all that JavaScript for your site to become interactive. That's pretty cool, but you could also implement lazy loading in other creative ways. Like you might use Intersection Observer to wait until a component comes into the view and then load the JavaScript at that point. There are frameworks like Astro and quick that do this kind of stuff for you automatically, but if that's not an option, it's a pretty easy thing to implement on your own. The bottom line is that creative code splitting is a technique that you definitely need to consider, especially when battling a large bundle size. And thank the gods for giving us tools like Vite that make everything so easy. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.